Yeah, it's an honor to be invited to share. Um, I met this training seven years ago now, in November 2007. And um, I jumped right in. I think the 12 empowerments at the time was 13 days. So there was a one day intro and then 12 empowerments. And um, I heard some talks before and uh, my partner had done the 12 empowerments a month before and he was just raving about it, just telling me, you've got to relax, you've got to relax. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> And uh, I just trusted him, but he met something amazing and listened to a few talks I didn't really understand. And, but we just went to Sweden and, um, and the first moment I had received the texts, I was just amazed that um, I, th I thought this kind of text I should receive from when I started school. I thought school was about that, <laughs> about learning the nature of mind. And as I didn't have it at school, I was in France and I... I chose to study philosophy, so we had like hours of philosophy when I was 17. And I thought, well, when I'm studying philosophy and I'm 17, I learn about the nature of mind. And then we went through all the philosophers, all the history, and I was just like, okay, how do I make sense of all this? And um, and just made my life just according, to, you know, picking something here, picking something there, um, studying art and performance, and. Uh, searching for the nature of mind within art and performance, representing all the emotions, trying to understand. But it was really a self-carved path. And um, um, yeah, and uh, when I met this training and saw the texts, it just felt like coming home, finally having a text that elicits the nature of mind and so poetic and the metaphors just touched me and 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 supported me immediately in my everyday experience and uh, many areas of life just illuminated like the intimate relationship um, before I was a very in love type of person. I'd fall in love with a partner, then it would finish and I'd just cry and mourn for days and then hunt and then just get the next partner and to be completely in love. And, and uh, I thought the well-being was in that. And um, But it didn't feel quite right. I felt I really wanted to learn to stand on my own feet and be powerful and not need another person. And over these seven years, just seeing that the well-being isn't in the other person, even if the whole hallucination, it's it, like it seems like the other person will give you love. And, and again and again, it just felt empty, like having all the circumstances look perfect and being like, wait, but what, where is it? And, um, and just being supported by this training to really touch in with where is that? complete love I was looking for and uh, and I've been just amazed with the support of my trainer and my root trainer and the whole community just finding complete love in feeling completely rejected and having crazy paranoid jealous data allowing that to be as it is and being like wow like this is beautiful <laughs> and complete love complete fulfillment of like I don't need anyone. All the data is saying, this person should do this, so you feel happy allowing that and being like, I don't need anything, I don't need anyone. There's completeness and beauty, and I'm so powerful and feeling completely unworthy, supported by my trainer and retrainer, the text, the community, the example of the community, like ninja warriors and <laughs> being like in the afflictions, just knowing, well, they've rested with intense anger, they've re rested with intense desire, they've rested with intense jealousy. I'm feeling crazy unworthy now. I'm going to rest too, <laughs> and, uh, and just letting it be. And it's just short moments, and it's really a little like, oh, it's not, it's just been getting used to it. Like, oh, it's not as bad. Oh, there's actually, it's a secret treasure. That's what Candice was mentioning. That's what the songs are pointing to. Like, 
in my experience, me, they all, all often that's what's come in these seven years, like the aha moment again and again, like, ah, in my afflictive data, the secret treasure, or stability in my crazy data, and like getting used to it, but at the same time, get, the getting used to it is not like getting bored of it, it's more like just knowing confidently that I can always relax, take short moments, and I will find this is the door, like more and more the afflictions rage, and more and more I can see this reality of great benefit. And it's been amazing. I work with children, and that's another area of life where I've just seen immense um, benefits, and say allowing, I work with small children, and. They've got everything going on for them, and uh, being able in each moment to, like usually when everything's going on for them, I feel a bit uncomfortable, like they have a tantrum or one child needs something, and um, it feels like, oh, I'm looking after them, I'm meant to do something, so it, naturally I just feel there's something, and that discomfort reminds me to just take the short moment and relax completely, and from there just seeing open intelligence is completely vast and open and fine and they are open intelligence completely vast and open and fine and from there being able to support them to see that too and often it doesn't come in speaking with them it's just <coughs> knowing it in myself role modeling that and it, according to each time place and circumstance knowing what to say to 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 just see there's nothing wrong with the children, they just have this beneficial energy stirring and they're spontaneously expressing it, they feel angry and they might just like, they might come out their mouth and uh, but I see that it's like me when I feel crazy, all this data, there's my, the amazing support from the Four Mainstays has shown me that there's nothing wrong with all that data, it is a secret treasure and so we're being with the kids and resting there knowing that it's been so powerful to just um, transmit this education in the nature of mind to them and I see they're really hungry for it and they just displaying everything and in the corner of their eye they're looking at me like hitting someone going like looking at me like they know what they, they know that's not how they're meant to use their body speech and mind <laughs> and the, and so it's, it feels I feel so grateful <laughs> being next to them and and being able to confirm you know taking short moment being able to confirm that you're powerful you can you know be gentle with your hands and give and then giving them things they can do to use that body speech and mind for their talents and yeah, it's like a total passion and it's been amazing to work closely with the support of the Four Mainstays when I don't know how to respond, what to do. And um, many times in the area of childcare I felt like I didn't notice, but for some times I would go off on one for like a few months being like, my trainer can't help me with that, no one can help, the parents can't help. And then noticing that data and being like, Oh, I think the Four Mainstays can't help. This is an opportunity to bring all that to the Four Mainstays. And, and, just, and again and again, when I've been completely transparent and persevered, bringing this, just really asking for the support, it's just cut through everything and there's been amazing results. And I've tested it again and again. And yeah, it's amazing. And, ju and just one last thing, I think I didn't, in the area of the relationship, just, after seeing that the well-being wasn't there and it was in me, then I just saw the relationship just blossom the most I've ever seen ever because <clears throat> being completely fulfilled myself, the other person too, and it's just we can share joy and service and love each other and support each other's talents and it's just so easy and all relationships like that I've seen blossom around me with my parents it's just the most beautiful being able to just listen to them and tell them how amazing they are and how I'm grateful for them and I felt I could never do that before I was just talking at them and like telling them how I'm doing and never listening and now I've just completely learned more and more to listen and I feel it's inexhaustible yeah, and I'm very inspired what benefit we're bringing to the world. Thank you.